Hello players, I'm your host, the Internet's Buzz Stringer. Most of us have been training our whole lives for this very moment. We must save the world by sitting on our asses and not going outside. Outside is overrated anyway. Great graphics, terrible gameplay. But we still need to elevate our heart rate and get the blood pumping with exercise. And what better way to do that than with a screen strapped to your face two inches away from your eyes. I have a list of five VR games that will help you stay fit while inside. Before we start, I'm not a fitness expert, but I think everybody brody, brody, should understand the basics. Cardio workouts are the best for general fitness, and that's all VR can really provide anyway. The goal is increased movement and elevated heart rate. Of course, always drink plenty of water and take breaks when you feel you have to. If you can push yourself, uh, five or ten percent over what is comfortable then you should increase your fitness over time but don't overdo it to the point where it hurts because yeah it hurts it has always been recommended to get around 30 minutes of light to moderate exercise per day if that is too much then just work up to it if that is too little then you keep going Zane Bolt a great way to track how you're performing is with a fitness band. You can go with one of the fancy Fitbits, they are great. Personally, I use the Mi Band 4 from Xiaomi. It's about £30-ish and is a great price for heart rate, exercise and sleep monitoring. Okay, games. Most of these games are available on most VR systems. We'll start with the most obvious, Beat Saber. Beat Saber is a great workout. Music always aids a good workout and makes the time fly. To get a good workout with Beat Saber, play the songs on a difficulty level that's actually difficult. Slowly fist bumping the air for five minutes isn't gonna help. Spend some time and get some tracks into a playlist and play them back to back. Make this your workout playlist. Don't worry about the world leaderboard just try and beat your own scores. And depending on your skill level, there's no shame in flipping on the no lose setting or tweaking a few other modifiers because we want to keep Beat Sabering with as little downtime as possible. Things like choosing tracks and restarting levels are only going to detract from your workout. Next on my list is Racket NX, which is like Racketball from the year 3000, where they all live underwater. Racket NX is a bit slower than Beat Saber, and there is a slight learning curve, but the more you play, the better you get. It requires a lot of moving and twisting, so make sure you stand back from your TV. There is multiplayer, and playing against someone else might encourage you just that little bit more. Unfortunately, this game is not available on PlayStation VR. It's Steam, Rift, and Quest only. After you have slashed your way through musical boxes and become the Racket Master, it's time to begin rising up and start playing Greed. In the blue corner, Adonis Hollywood Creed! Creed Rise to Glory is a boxing game set in the Creed movie universe where you have Rocky Balboa as your coach. Shadow boxing for 30 minutes really does take it out of you, and if you are not careful, you can definitely pull a few muscles. Although it would be nice to have some muscles to pull in the first place. But going in one more round when you don't think you can, that's what makes all the difference in your life. It ain't how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. We are staying in the ring for the next game, which is Box VR. Well, Box VR doesn't really have a ring, and it's not really a game. But anyway, it's really a fitness app, and it's kind of Beat Saber boxing, but it is choreographed by professional fitness instructors, and it tracks your workout and your progress, and, 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 they have a, <laughs> they have constantly been adding new features and updates since its release. For me personally, it's not my favorite game on this list, but if you want something that's a bit more serious about improving your fitness, this is the one to go for. If now, if you take Time Crisis, some rhythm, and some awesome original music, you might end up with Pistol Whip. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. Pistol Whip is rhythm shooting timed perfectly to all original songs. Each level design is spot on 
And just like those classic games of yesteryear, you can learn the sequences of each level and master it. It's kind of hard to describe, but it does feel a little bit like Time Crisis. It's five, best, it's five, it's not five at all. It's fast paced and there are obstacles to avoid, so it will get you up and down and twisting all about. It's definitely one of those just one more try kind of games. Now that should be plenty to be getting on with, but there are some honorable mentions that deserve a mention honorably. <laughs> Echo Arena is a fast paced multiplayer disc sport and it takes some dedication to be not bad at it. If Racket NX is not your thing, you can give Hollow Ball a shot, which is just like Squash from the year 3000, where they also live underwater. But that one is available for PlayStation VR, and some people prefer that over Racket NX anyway. There's also Fruit Ninja for a bit of fun, and Robo Recall can get you moving if you're going for those high scores. Well, I think that about covers it for now. If you have any tips or questions about using VR for exercise, let the people know in the comments below. <laughs> that rhymes. If you, if you think that was helpful, hit the like button. If not, there's also a button for that as well. Product links are in the description and I have a playlist filled with more VR videos, which is on your screen somewhere. So make sure you check that out. And until next time, stay healthy, stay safe and keep playing.